Hey guys, welcome back. Today we have a fun video. My young friend Ava is going to be learning how lunging is more of a riding simulation than just riding your horse around to, to take the energy out of them during the warm up. So let's get started. I'm Steve Andrews and this is The Natural Horseman. Lunging is a riding simulation. It is not just running your horses around in circles. He's never sure what to think of me anymore. <laughs> this is why you always have these. Ava, I love how excited you get. That's why your feet keep going faster because you're getting so excited. <laughs> you know you have your um, hand with the training stick in it, your hand with the horse in it. I reach toward the horse with my hand in the training stick. Good, slow your feet down again. Notice how you, uh, you tend to get way ahead of him. Your rein and your contact will not work if you're ahead of him. You know, we don't, when we ride our horses, we're not sitting up in front of their noses or sitting up on their ears. We're sitting back in the saddle. So you need to be lined up with the saddle when you're lunging him, right? Not way up in front of his head. You can't use your rein if you're sitting on his ears. You need to be sitting back in the saddle. Slow, slow down even more. There you go. That's better position. Your lunging position needs to be the riding position, not the leading position. As you're walking around with him, that rein should always be going backward, always be going backward toward the stirrup, just like it is when you ride him. If I can see that the rein's pointed out in front of his nose, that tells me you're out of position, and your rein positions will not work. Like right there, you're way out of position. If that rope's angling back toward the stirrup, that tells me you're in the right spot. See how that rein's angled backwards now? You want to keep your foot lined up with the stirrup, not with his ear. Once your foot's lined up with the stirrup, you're ready to start asking for, con for contact. Yeah, run your rope, yep, hand down the rope. Make the contact, then tuck his nose, and the tucking of his nose actually communicates directly to his back feet, and then let go. You can hear that there's three beats to this gate. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Can you hear them? There's a moment of pause. That's the four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The four is when you release. The one is when you feel for him. The three is where you touch. And the four is when you release. Okay? That's that milk in the rain. So your hand's always working. If you're asking for contact or collection, your hand's always working. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. I think it's one, two, three, four is release. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, don't get ahead of them. You're getting way too far ahead of them. Lunging is a riding simulation. It is not just running your horses around in circles. So you need to be in position for it to work properly. He's never sure what to think of me anymore. <laughs> this is why you always have. We need to touch and release the rein at the right time. And at the lope, it says the back feet are coming up off the ground. Okay. And what a lot of people t tend to do when they're first learning of this is go like this. They watch the back feet, the back feet go up and they go like that. And that just feels like a bonk, doesn't it? Bonk, bonk. And if, if you imagine a you know, a bit in his mouth going wham, wham. Doesn't feel too good. And on the ground, it just feels like his head's being jerked. It doesn't make much sense. So when you start asking for contact, you know, you have your um, hand with the training stick in it, your hand with the horse in it. I reach toward the horse with my hand in the training stick, contact, then touch, release. Contact, touch, release. That feels nicer, doesn't it? It yeah. feels nicer than this. My rope's going crazy, right, is contact, 
Now the back feet go up and then I release you. Contact, back feet go up, I release you. And my hand is going back towards the saddle like that. Okay. Slow your feet down, Ava. Slow your feet down. Slow your feet down a lot, Ava. Do you see how you got way ahead of him? Yep, yep, make sure you're not leaving without him, okay? Good, take your slack up just a little bit. Do you know what I mean by slack? Yep. So now by taking the slack up, you have access to the contact. Do you know what contact is? Okay. Yeah, four laps, two more. Good, take up your slack. Good, now start working his nose a little bit. When, he is, when his back feet come off the ground, I want you to run your right hand down the rein and touch his nose. That's gonna help him to engage. See that? Try it again. Run your right hand down the rein and touch his nose as his back feet leave the ground. In which way do you draw his nose? Nope, not in. You draw it backwards toward his saddle. Okay, because that's a rein attached to him. It's not a rope. It needs to be drawn backwards toward the saddle. If you pull it in, it's just going to toss him off balance. All right, so... If you pull the rope, if you pull the rein or his nose in, it's just going to throw him off balance. Okay? So, let's try it again. Run your hand down the rein. Draw his nose backward toward his saddle as his back feet leave the ground. Okay? Do it again. Don't let go. It's going to look like touch release, touch release, touch release, touch release. So don't let go with your hand. Grab your rein. Grab it overhand like a rein. Yep, there you go. Okay, make contact. Now don't bump him. It's, you're, don't be too aggressive or rough with it. All right, just nice and easy. Touch, release, touch, release, touch, release. Oh. Okay, now you see you got, you got all that slack swinging around like crazy? That's not contact, okay? Contact means he can feel you. If that's just swinging around randomly, that's giving all sorts of mixed signals. So make the rope shorter and shorter and shorter without getting closer to him. Now, if you're getting closer to him, you're avoiding contact. Stay on your circle. Okay, now make contact without getting closer to him. Now run your hand down the rein. Run your hand down the rein more. Run your hand down the rein more. Keep going. He's getting closer to you. He's not doing the right answer. Keep going. Okay, there. Now, now that you have some contact, draw, his, draw the rein down and back towards the stirrup. There. There, now leave him be. Okay, you see how he was re able to relax with that? And he was able to shape up. Okay, shape him up. There. Now get rid of that rope swing. That's not okay. I know. <laughs> get rid of that rope swing. Good. There. Good. Now every time he gets high-headed, I want you to take that contact and say, tuck your chin and drive with your back feet. Okay? When you take the contact, that's what you're asking him to do. All right, now, now you can stop. Now you can stop. Okay. So now that your skills are developing, no more just letting them go around. We're going to shape it up. So that's called contact. And you do the same thing when you ride him, right? But you never pull his nose in towards you because that just, that does nothing but pull his nose in. Right? That does nothing but flex his nose in, which is going to throw him off balance or maybe even disengage him in the canter. And disengage means it takes the power away. And we want him to have power up. Right, so he'll tuck his nose, lift his top line, drive with his back feet, and be strong and powerful and athletic and ready to perform. Make sense? All right, cool.